Now to the latest on Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan making new moves to further separate themselves from royal life, letting go of their Buckingham Palace staff, holding meetings at Stanford University, and Prince Harry is now in talks with Goldman Sachs. Paula Ferris is here with all the details. Hey, Paula. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. There is a lot happening in their orbit right now. Meghan and Harry are taking their last lap as royals before moving on towards a private life that they so desperately crave. This morning, news that Harry and Meghan will be closing their Buckingham Palace office, with most of their staff losing their jobs come spring as they step down as senior royals. <laughs> Overnight, Duchess Meghan celebrating the news that the issue of British Vogue, which she guest edited last September, was the fastest selling issue in the magazine's history. On Instagram, she shared behind the scenes video never seen before. Anyone, no matter who they are, picking up this issue should be able to see themselves in it. And that's what I feel really proud that we've accomplished. The Duchess and British Vogue editor in chief, Edward Enenful, surprising some of the forces for change featured on the magazine cover with a phone call. Megan, I'm so proud of you for using your amazing platform and your strong voice. And I'm so honored to be part of it with those other amazing women. Thank you so much for including me. As the Duke and Duchess move to formalize their split from the royal family, they've been jetting around North America, laying the groundwork for the launch of their charitable foundation. A source close to the Sussexes confirms they were in San Francisco for meetings earlier this week and visited Stanford University, where they had a brainstorming session with professors and academics. ABC News has also learned that Prince Harry is in talks with global banking giant Goldman Sachs to be a guest speaker. A royal source confirming that negotiations have been ongoing for about a year, long before the pair announced they wanted a change in their status. Harry's work with Goldman Sachs ties into one of the charities that he's closely aligned with. As a working member of the royal family, it has nothing to do with their newfound financial independence. So there will be no money exchanging hands. As part of their transition to private life, they will no longer receive public funds or conduct royal business on behalf of the Queen. They're currently being supported by Prince Charles. That's Prince Harry's father, though they have expressed a desire to become financially independent. It goes without saying that their earning potential will be substantial when the time comes, but they are royals until the spring. Mm. All right. My okay. kids have just, you know, said have the same desire. To, to be, be financially gone. independent? Yep. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> aren't they still in the house? Aren't they still teenagers though? Yes. <laughs> well, two of them are teenagers. <laughs> they're, they're in the house. The other ones are. But thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.